hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to basically clean your syringes and things that you need for lip gloss obviously when you're making lip gloss you make a lot of mess and obviously you need to clean everything so the most important thing are the containers and the syringes that you are obviously going to reuse there is nothing bad with that because you can't just keep on buying a new syringe to do every lip gloss no you can't just be doing that for every lip gloss no you can reuse it it's nothing wrong with that so the way that i clean my syringes is by doing that exactly what i'm doing in the video i know guys this angle is horrible but later on in the video i change the angles so you will be seeing later on the video clearly of what i am doing so while you are cleaning anything whatever it is um lip gloss tubes whatever it is that has to do when you are selling things do not use any other soap unless if it's organic don't use any other soap like shampoo um hand soap no use this soap that's what you are supposed to use or you can use an organic soap that has nothing doesn't smell like nothing is unscented the reason why is because this soap is used on plates that you wash um spoons that you wash and most of the time not most of the time but sometimes there can be a time where you didn't wash something very well and it had soap on it and what happens is you reuse that plate and you basically ate soap but did you die no so what i'm trying to say here is that if anything if like let's say you didn't wash good the syringes and had a little bit of soap you're not going to die just because it's on the lip gloss um you're not going to die that's what i'm trying to say is that it's best if you use an organic soap or dish soap because nothing is going to happen so yeah this is how basically what i how i clean them i clean them with warm water i do not use cold you can use hot water but or like just like a type of warm very warm water but i use warm water i suggest yes to use hot water and leave them in a container for like 20 minutes or so so that the lip gloss um, residue melts because the lip gloss does melt on hot water easier to clean and everything so i suggest you doing that or using warm warm water but i don't stress it enough so i just i just try to clean it with just soap and water also about the dish soap dish soap is very good on oily stuff um when you when you are cleaning a pan it's obviously has a lot of oil basically dish soap fights it so obviously it's better to use dish soap so this is basically how I, I clean it i use a sponge and just try to get in every little corner i try to get every every residue of the lip gloss off so you know these are the containers that i use and i use i i like put soap three times in order for it to really like come out because i just want the lip gloss to come out so that's basically what i do i just use soap a lot of soap <laughs> so you're gonna have to do that and um this is a process where nobody likes because it is hard to get the residue of the lip gloss out trust me i put soap three times and still when i am done the um lip gloss is still not out it still feels sticky so this is a very hard difficult thing to do but as long as it's clean you're good and then you always want to smell whatever you're you you cleaning always want to smell it and if it smells like soap keep on adding water that's what you want to do so that's what i do i smell it and if i don't smell soap i'll be like okay this is good if i smell soap i keep on adding water so all the soap comes out so this is basically how i clean all my containers i just like to use my hands and the sponge to get the soap everywhere and basically scrub it so see how clean the syringe is even though it looks clean it was sticky afterwards but 
here is what i was trying to say earlier in the video you want to do this you want to go up and down as if you are putting lip gloss in the tube and taking it out that's basically what you are doing i don't know why other people use versa gel and they put versa gel into the tube and take it out and supposedly that's cleaning it no um versa gel can get old and the pigments all together just sitting there with not cover covering it like the tube has a, a cap so it's covered inside you i suggest not using versa gel because like you're basically leaving it somewhere you're basically leaving the syringe somewhere and it's just versa gel in it i suggest cleaning it off very good because you never know if that's bad i don't know to be honest in my opinion it is i don't know how people do that but this is how you properly clean it i did see um a video a girl doing this which um you know inspired me to do this but the point is that you know you should be doing it like this not with versa gel you should be cleaning it like this and um yes it is harder but doing it with versa gel is even more harder because you have to put versa gel and you have to take it out like a couple times and i just don't suggest doing that so this is how all everything ended up being and yeah guys everything just came out very clean and as you can see in the picture everything is perfectly clean no lip gloss on it yes it was a little bit sticky but that doesn't matter the point is that it's clean and i hope you guys liked this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe go to my link and shop down below with all these lip glosses that i have sales are coming soon for thanksgiving and christmas so stay tuned thank you guys comment down below whatever you want me to do or anything you want me to um record and just recommend any colors i should do for lip gloss and so yeah thank you